All right, good morning, world. Beautiful morning here in Lagos, Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to this morning edition of World Secret Mindset Mentorship Class. It's your regular host, Dr. Abi Olatu. Here again, I bring in value to you this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you, no doubt, we've seen this value really, you know, showing in the lives of participants on this amazing mindset mentorship class. And I'm super excited to be leading this chat. And one thing that is very certain is that as you are part of this community, ladies and gentlemen, it is nothing but value. Now, talking about value, that's why we're talking about our weekly uh, teaching series, which is tag become more valuable in the marketplace. Ladies and gentlemen, we started with a higher momentum uh, since on Monday and yesterday, Tuesday, and then we're going to be giving you a very powerful dose on how you can become valuable, in fact, become unstoppable in the marketplace. So I begin by teaching this morning to making us to understand that, you know, everything of value comes with a cost. Everything of value comes with a cost. Now, what is the cost you're willing to commit to you becoming an extraordinary force? Now, I start again by letting you to understand that you must be willing to give all that you've got in order to, all that you've had in order to get all that you want. In life, there is always all you have to put in. You have to be able to go in fully and not go in halfway. You see, to become more valuable in the marketplace, ladies and gentlemen, is simply by becoming more. You have to become more. Now, someone once said, Afalabi, how do you mean by becoming more? To become more means that you have to become somebody of value. You have to have twice or become twice more valuable than what you used to be. I mean, the truth is that you're not going to be able to do things the same way you've been doing it, the same attitude, the same, you know, energy you're putting into something. And then you want the kind of different results. It's impossible. I'll tell you something. Life won't give to you what you want, will only give to you what you deserve. What do you truly deserve? Where you are is as a result of the level of input that you're putting into life. Now, to become or to have more, you have to become somebody of more. That's the way it works. So primarily, you have to get, you know, you, you get paid for the value, not for the time. I say, man, Afalavi, I put in a lot of time into the kind of work I do. There's no doubt you can spend the whole time and everything. It's not about the time that you put in. It's about the person of value that you have become. That's how you get more. That's how you attract more. You see, you have to become somebody of more in order to get more. That's the way to become more valuable. And talking about to become somebody of more, we've been able to identify some of the key components that can help you to achieve that. Yesterday, we talked about discipline, how discipline can be one of the major key to helping you become somebody of more. You have to be disciplined, ladies and gentlemen. In the marketplace, you have to be disciplined. You get more time, but guess what? You're not going to get more value. That discipline is the time that you're putting into everything. And as you're putting everything, ensuring that something is adding more to you. Oh man, at my place of work, they didn't promote me. Oh, myself and this guy, we are in the same cater. How come they promoted the guy? How come the guy get more income? How come they increase his own allowance? Oh, you're simply thinking maybe because he knows somebody here with so common that he said, man, you know, he knows the general manager. The general manager is his friend. But guess what? What if you're wrong? What if it's not? What if you don't put your mind into that? What if you primarily go to work on yourself than you do more on your job? What if you put in a whole lot of activities in developing yourself and becoming somebody of more? 
What do you get when you become somebody of more? You get more. You're not going to have your mind stick to, you know, uh, he has more connection. He knows more people. The general manager is his friend, is his brother, is his uncle, it's his cousin. Now, they can be, but why not re-raise that mentality? Why not simply just go and develop yourself more? You see, to get to a time whereby at that work or the job you're doing, let me tell you something. When you become somebody of more, when you have developed yourself more, when you have developed, I mean, talking about developing yourself more, you, you, it will show from the way you talk, the way you speak, the way you compose yourself, how you, you know, you, the kind of idea, innovation you bring into the team. That is how it will show. It is not by you saying, I have this certification, because people will see from you. They will see from you. It will, it will show from you, from the way you compose yourself, how you address issue, the way the kind of, you know, intellectual capacity or, you know, innovation that you are bringing into, uh, you know, into a project. It will show, ladies and gentlemen, you don't need to force it. And people will definitely see it. And you, by concentrating more on how to get better, guess what happened? That your workplace may not even be able to hold you or they, they may not be able to be big enough to accommodate who you have become. And simply, you start attracting something good. You start attracting the, 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 the higher level, the higher or better opportunity into your life. To become more valuable in the marketplace, simply you have to put in more. I, I often used to ask a question. I say, how do you achieve an above average income? It's a question that I tell most people. How do you, how do you achieve an above average income? You don't want the kind of income you see. You're looking at your wallet. You're looking at what you earn on a monthly basis, on a weekly basis, or daily basis. How do you, how do you see yourself that I don't, I don't like what I'm seeing. I want more. You know, I want more. You're telling yourself, hey, I want more. You, as you're telling yourself, I want more. You, you're just looking at, oh man, to become more, ladies and gentlemen. You see, let me go, let me tell you what's going to happen. You don't like what you're seeing. What you need to do simply is to become an above average person. That's what you need to do. To become an above average person. And to become an above average person, you have to learn to work harder on yourself than you commit to other things that are irrelevant to you. Learn how to work harder. I want to tell you something. It all starts from the mind. Make it up. Decide that I want to become a better father. Decide that I want to become a better person. Decide that I want to become better to attract something good to myself. And let me tell you something. The moment you become better, you, ask, you start attracting somebody, I mean, something good to yourself. And it all starts from your income. It all starts from how you become. It, it all starts from the, the, you know, the, the kind of influence you're going to have around you. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, this is what has worked for myself. The day I told myself that I want more. In fact, I got so tired at some point when I was active in my workplace. <laughs> I got so tired that I look at myself. You know, I became a workaholic. I was putting in more. I love my job more than everything. But to get to a time, I look at myself. Is this how my life is going to end? I'm putting everything do I really deserve this kind of income that is coming to me? It wasn't bad for an average person. But I told myself, I want more. I want more. So I simply, I started working on myself more. At my workplace, I was soaked and deep into personal development. I was reading books, ladies and gentlemen. I was listening to audio. Nothing interests me. Nothing attracts me. Nothing gets me. I mean, I, I, if you knew me then, I was working on myself like I have no every other life because I need more in order for me to get more. So I was now putting much more work into becoming a better person. I wasn't focusing on what my job, I was still doing my job, but while I was doing my job, I was concentrating on developing more. I was learning more. I was putting everything, ladies and gentlemen. If you know me, nothing can get my attention other than the things I have put my focus on. So the marketplace, like we call it, is called a reality. 
Reality is what we all stand and uh, await you. Reality is the bills you pay. Reality is those your children tuition fee you must have to pay. Reality is you, you know, having to be able to look at your bank account and say, man, okay, I think I'm good right now. Reality. Reality is not a paycheck you get because one day, if you don't want to leave that job, that job is going to definitely leave you. Now, how do you live life afterwards? You want to go back to square zero? No. Start working on yourself. Learn to do more or to work more on yourself than you do more under your job. Learn to put in more. Learn to put in more so you can attract more. Learn to work harder on yourself so you can become somebody of more value or somebody valuable in the marketplace. To face reality, which is called the marketplace. Marketplace is simply reality. What you face out there. You know, I was working for one company then, and they are in partnership with the Niger Delta. For two years, ladies and gentlemen, for two solid years, I was lodging an hotel, living in a suite. I have everything to myself. Two solid years. Can you imagine? I had everything in a hotel lodge, in a suite. At some point, I was kind of getting comfortable with those. But at some point, I told myself, I thought, this is fake. So when I call, you know, when I look at this other part of life, I call him the fake. That fake, if you are very close to me, you will know that that is the way I call it. I call it fake. And I call the, 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 the marketplace the reality. Whereby I will be able to tell myself, I want to do things myself. Don't just tell me that I'm comfortable by receiving some paycheck at the end of the month. This is what I get. Don't tell me that is the best of me. You see, you will get to a level whereby you start receiving income on a daily basis. You start receiving income on a weekly basis. It comes as a result of who you have become. To simply have more, you have to become somebody of more. You have to have the, the capacity, the enlightenment to be able to accommodate more. This is about the time to get to work. So you have to tell yourself, I got to get to work. I got to stop or get out of that comfort zone and become comfortable with the unfamiliar. What is the unfamiliar? The reality, the marketplace. It is the unfamiliar. And that is where the big money is going to come from. That is where, you know, that is where reality awaits you and I. The marketplace, ladies and gentlemen. To tap from that marketplace, you have to be that person of more. Become valuable. Become somebody of value to attract more valuable things to yourself. You don't simply like the kind of income you are receiving, then go to work on you. Go to work. Just tell yourself, I want to become somebody of more. I am tired. I am tired of what I'm looking at. I don't like my life. You want your children to go to a better school. Oh, you don't like the kind of marriage or how your married life is. Get to work on yourself. Start to work. What time am I going to get to work? Right now. This is the time you need to get to that work. And I tell you something. If you work harder on your on yourself than you do on your job, guess what? You You'll be able to make a fortune, not a living. You'll be able to make a fortune. But if you still do the same regular activity you do, Guess what? You're only making a living. So life is not about making a living. Life is about making a fortune so that you can be of impact to people, your community, people around you, the society, the kind of charity organization that you want to really support. The life, the people, the, the people that you are looking at say, if I have the financial wealth, I'll be able to help and support these people. You're not going to be able to support them if you are making a living because the living is to sustain you. The fortune is to simply be able to affect people positively, financially. And guess what? To achieve all this thing, to work out of yourself and develop that skills, it has to happen. Develop that skills. And to develop that skill, we're talking about the skills of language, the skills of communication, the skills of you seeing that, you know, the, 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 the way you think, the way you reason, the way you come up with ideas, solutions to things. You have to become that person. You have to look at yourself that I am going to work on my philosophy. 
philosophy, as it's been said, is the greatest reality of how your life turns out around to be. The philosophy is how you think here. How you think and how you feel create your state of being. Is it true? If that is true, then I'm going to work on my communication skill, the gift of my communication. I said yesterday, according to Les Brown, he said the moment you open your mouth, you tell the world who you are. You can't be careless in language. You can't just look at yourself and say, you know, I'm just going to talk. So stop it. You see, the marketplace is not where you play jokes. Marketplace is the reality that awaits you, that stand new and say, you say, I am looking at you until you do or you move me. I'm not going to move. Until you become somebody of value, I will leave the road for you. It's looking at you eyeball to eyeball. And it's telling you, change me. I don't like my situation. Change me. To change me, you have to develop on working on your attitude. You have to develop on working on your language. You have to develop on working on your personality. You have to develop on working on your philosophy, ladies and gentlemen. Change it. Change it. You have to change it. Change is the most difficult thing. But you have to change it. Those who cannot change their mind cannot change nothing. If you don't change your mind, you cannot change your income. You cannot change your philosophy. Change it. Decide today and go to that altar that say, I want this change and I need it right now. You have to decide. Nobody's going to call that shot for you, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody's going to change college for you. In order for you to become more valuable in that marketplace, ladies and gentlemen, you have to simply become somebody of more. I hope this message gets to you this morning, and I hope you got value for being here on this program. Remember here, we do this every single day, Monday through Friday, impacting through this amazing mindset mentorship class. What we do here is to simply educate, equip, and enrich you with all the necessary resources and information that will empower you mentally to live the very best of your life. And our teaching this weekly series, our weekly teaching series is something that could make you to become unstoppable in that marketplace reality that's wait for you and I. Become somebody of value, become somebody of more in order to attract more. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where we draw it a cut in today. And I hope you got value. So as you go about your day this morning, you have to decide and come to that altar of that decision and tell yourself, I will simply become somebody of more today. Now, if you have missed some of the teaching that we started or we, we, we started talking about during the course of the week, Monday, Tuesday, I encourage you to go back to those videos and watch it step by step then in addition to this, you will see that truly you can actually achieve more, attract more by working on your philosophy, by working on your language, by working on your communication skill, the gift of your language, matter of fact, by working on your personality, by working on your attitude, I can tell you, and then discipline yourself to achieve more. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for staying put. We'll see you same time, same link on the same program tomorrow. And then we encourage you to be a community member of the West Supreme Mindset Mentorship Club.